What is going on guys? My name is Uppy and thank you so much for joining me for today's tutorial. And in this one, I want to be teaching you how to do the very popular and sometimes overly used walk by transition. Now in this day and age, if you're a videographer, an editor or a filmmaker, I feel like a lot of people expect you to know how to do it. And the great thing about this effect is it is so simple to do. So if you can pull it off correctly, it will make you look like a much better editor. Anyways, without further ado, let's all open Premiere Pro. Let's learn this little effect. Alrighty, so as always, welcome to my Premiere Pro. Now, in today's tutorial, I'm gonna be uh, using these two clips. This is a shot of the beautiful Golden Temple here in Kyoto, Japan. And also as well, just a little side note, there is a little pre-planning involved in this effect because when you're out there shooting, you need an object to pass all the way through the lens as I'll show you right here. And we just pan and then this tree comes in front of it, covers the entire screen and then exits on the other side. So whenever you're out filming and such and you have the idea to use this effect, make sure you include a shot of an object passing through the lens. Anyways, let's get back into it. And then the next thing you want is a clip that is moving in the same direction. So as you can see, we are following the camera move from right to left. And then in the next clip as well, our subject is moving from right to left. So the thing that really sells this effect is when both of your clips are moving in the same direction and if you can at the same speed as well. So let's get into it. The first thing you want to do is go to your first clip here and you just want to move it up one. And you want to go to the point where the space uh, becomes shown. Uh, and I'll show you guys right here in a second. If we come here. As you can see, this section right here, we begin to see the other side of the tree. If we just go back a few frames, right there. At this point, this is when uh, the other side gets shown through. So we just wanna drag our next clip up to this point. Actually, you know what, go back one frame and drag the, your next clip up to this point right here, just before it shows through. Great, so the next thing you wanna do is you want to select your zoom level at around 50% or 25% depends on the size of your display. But for this case, we're gonna use 50 and that will kind of give you some working area around the clip. You want to go one frame forward and then this is revealed. And then go to your pen tool over here and you just wanna make a rough outline, just covering all of that excess right there. Just like that and then connect it just like that. And as you can see, it will start to reveal the clip underneath, but we don't want that. So what you do is you click this little inverted section over here. So click inverted and that will flip it back to the clip on top. So next is you just want to click mask path and you just want to set a keyframe right there. Then select the mask one again. And now this is the tedious part. What you want to do next is just, you want to go forward one frame and just little by little, you just wanna line up all of these things so that it is covering the excess. Just like that. And then, again, another frame forward. You just do the exact same thing. And you can also set more points as well so that you can shape the outline to the object better. Just like that. Now we're just gonna do this super rough so that you guys get a quick understanding of how to do it. And then again, another frame forward. And then you just wanna repeat this process until that object passes all the way through to the other side. So I'm gonna speed up this process and I'll see you guys when it's done. So as we are reaching the end here, just a few more frames as you can see, and just one more. And now, as you can see, the tree has finally, or the object has finally moved all the way past the screen and the clip underneath is now revealed. So if we just take a look back at this and uh, just come off here for a second. As you can see, it's kind of a hard line and it makes the transition look very obvious. And so what we wanna do is we wanna select this mask right here and we just wanna adjust the mask feather and the mask expansion. Now this is all personal preference um, and it depends on what kind of shot you're using. But for this case, I'm going to change the mask feather to about, uh, to maybe about 50. And then the mask expansion to about 30 as well. Uh, let's go back here. Yeah, 30. You know what, 32, let's take a look at that. Yep, see, so as you can see, it just kind of like blends it a little bit longer. And if we just go to the beginning of the clip as well, 
you will notice that the, you know, there's like this black smudge here. What you want to do is you want to go to the starting point of when the, uh, of when the transition is meant to happen. And just want to go back one frame and just move this anywhere to the screen. Just like that. And then so that will tell it to start the transition from the next frame over. So let's just go to the beginning and let's watch the playback. Boom. And as you can see, again, that looks pretty good. That is pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial and would like to see more, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below if there is an effect or transition that you would like me to teach. But anyways, guys, that is enough from me today. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Please stay safe wherever you may be. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.